What's up guys? Welcome to another Fooligan video. Today we got something different for you. I have a brand new bike reveal. The bike's not brand new, but it's new to me and I'm going to do a lot to it. So we'll get to that in one second. I'm also going to go through and give you a parts list of all the mods on my Grom that I've done to it. In case you want to stunt your Grom out or do anything uh, that you've seen on my bike. It's completely stripped down, but I picked up a 2013 CRF 110 and I'm very excited about it. It was basically all stock and obviously it had a few owners. Um, I'm assuming mostly young kids that learned how to ride it or dicking around with it, stuff like that, because it's got bent pegs, you know, the carburetor wasn't running right. It wasn't idling well. Obviously it's been looped out a few times. So, I mean, nothing that I wouldn't do to the bike already. And that's a good thing because most of the OEM parts get replaced anyway. So if it's the OEM parts that got damaged and it took most of the damage of the bike, um, you know, like the engine's in great shape, it seems, has great compression, doesn't leak any oil at all i have a bbr carburetor on the way so that'll make it run like a boss it goes from a 13 mil to an 18 mil bolt on very excited about that my tube john's coming over uh today uh, a little bit later after work he's nice enough i'm gonna buy him some beer we're gonna get the tube fixed for the front wheel here i have a pro taper of tall bar kit with the entire kit throttle new grips everything the bar is all on the way i think monday or tuesday those will all be here. So when I get back from Rock, this build begins, and uh, within a few days, we're gonna be able to rip this thing. I also got a shock extender. We'll see how that works. It extends the shock one inch. I've never really ran one before, but 25 bucks compared to $100 for a new spring. I am gonna go in and probably mod this thing to all to hell, but uh, before spending $4,000 on parts on bbr.com or whatever. I'm gonna wait and I'm just gonna get what's necessary to get the bike uh, running well and looking good in good shape. I think that's about all we got. Oh man, I'm excited to rip this baby. Tell me what we should do with the pit bike. Pit bike videos are back. Still got the 50, that thing works great. Very excited about getting this one together. That will be together very soon. I know I keep saying that, but it will. Screw that thing. All right, let's get this baby out and do a Grom mods list. And to do so, I'm not gonna use my phone. I'm gonna put this on and do it vlog style because this is my new vlog helmet. I picked this up yesterday. It's just one of the cheap ones, but it matches my KTM pretty well, I think. Not bad. Dawson, what do you think? Is that sick? Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Uh. Good old Kev dog. Oh man, after five years, you still look good, buddy. I should clean you up a little bit, but we're not gonna talk about that today. Look at this bad boy. Cooked like a piece of bacon all that rust on the outside somehow this thing was still firing so if you want a comparison check that out ten dollar fix and i probably haven't done that in i don't know three years that's crazy i'm crazy i'm lazy it's not that i'm lazy it's that i just don't care if it runs any smoother do you think it will let's find out Ooh. Maybe it'll actually have the power it needs because it actually can fire. Anyways, let's get to the mods. Starting from front to back, we have powder coated stock wheels on Michelin City Grip tires. You know, these aren't bad if you like city, city style stuff. They're pretty aggressive. You can still get around off road. I haven't done any engine mods. It's still a stock bore, nothing like that. It's just leaking a hell of a bunch of oil. I don't keep it clean, I should. But as far as the engine is, I don't have any mods on that. This is a stock in, uh, exhaust, and I just have the exhaust slip on. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, I did remove the entire front end. There are no turn signals. I can just use my hands here in Nebraska. Uh, this is a KTM 450 number plate. I should probably secure it on a little bit better. It's been on there for a couple years now. Custom brackets on each side hold this LED light in. That's uh, what, I don't know, $10 on eBay, maybe 15 bucks. I do uh, have some terrible wiring here because it's fallen apart over the last couple of years. But this is a switch I just got from Walmart, you know. Put it in there uh, on the positive, I believe. Yeah. As far as up here goes, this is a stock triple clamp, all that. Um, but this, the bar risers and clamps are... PSD, Perfect Stranger Designs. All of these stunt mods come from tacticalminds.com, so be sure after you watch this video to go check out um, all their new parts and stuff like that, because they'll have just about anything for your bike, not just Groms, but anything if you want to stunt, they have it. After you watch my video, of course, HC1 is the master here, and Brembo is the caliper. You honestly don't need the P34, but you know, I just went a little bougie on it. P32 would do just fine. This is the stock brake caliper that goes back to my foot just like normal and then PSD perfect stranger designs there you can see it makes this dual caliper bracket to hold both of them there's my stunter x exhaust let me tighten up that bracket dang everything I touch is loose on this thing <laughs> I just like to ride them I tell you I don't work on them near as much as I uh, as I like to rip them 
not a good practice, so don't do what I do. Okay, also this is a little low. Gotta bleed my brakes, look at them bubbles. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm out here just stunting hard still, oh God. The bars that I rock are Mika, I can't see the bend with the bracket on, but those are Mika bars, those are not Pro Taper bars. I just didn't wanna rock those ATV wide bars as much anymore, because I rocked those for quite some time, so I went with the smaller Mika bars. I like them. You will see that the frame and the swing arm are painted. They're not powder coated, so there are chips here and there, but it looks pretty good here. But the entire frame all the way up to the neck, everything is uh, completely red. So I love that. That took a long time to do. Uh, we completely stripped it down. My buddy Spencer that I used to ride with, uh, he did a great job helping me. Well, I helped him really. Got the YSS uh, shock here, rear shock. It's a lot stiffer than the normal one. So it's a little bit taller. And then my sub cage. This is the one I probably get the most comments on. About any part of my bike, this is it. There's Tactical Mimes. PSD, Perfect Stranger Designs, another part by them. This is probably like a five or $600 uh, stun cage. My gripe is, is I don't practice enough, and it's, this is just pretty short for scrapage. So I'd prefer something probably out to here like most people have. This is a great bar, I, I really do enjoy it. It's very nice, very comfortable. These adjust completely around. They got a bunch of different slots, so you can choose what fits best for you. TST Industries tail light, I believe. I don't have my 50 stunt axle sliders on anymore, but I used to rock those. What's up, man? And then I did delete the air box. That was like the first thing I did on the Grom. As soon as you do the air box delete, it leaves this big old hole open right here. But as you can see, now I just rock this little air filter right here. See That little guy. All my stickers are from One in the Air, uh, O-I-T-A brand. Check them out on Instagram, give them a follow. Uh, obviously, I'm a big supporter. Still got the Omaha Grom Squad. We didn't brand it anymore because we got sued for putting Grom Squad on shirts, but I did sell some Grom, some picture, picture of a Grom, and then Squad there for a while. But we were getting creative with the, with the uh, merch because we got sued for six grand. In case you didn't know, that's why we don't rock Grom Squad anymore. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> that's about all we got on old Kev Dog here. I think I got just about everything. Um, I don't have an ECU tuner, nothing like that. I guess the most important part would be always have a bell. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Uh, let me know what you think, if I should do anything to Kevin, uh, if you have any questions as to if I missed anything. Um, just hit me up in the comments. I would do, I would do read them all and I will reply. All right guys, I think that's about it. I just did all the edits. I added in the stunt clutch and the gearing. So I think that's about everything. But if I missed anything, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. And I cannot wait to go to a rock this weekend in STL. It's the biggest ride of the entire year. And then we're gonna have the 110 vids coming next week. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, peace. Connected.